The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University. Hi, and welcome to Natural Media and Engineering, where we research how people use gestures in various contexts. Follow me and we'll tell you more about our research. This is our project leader, Irene Mitzelberg. Irene? Hi, Irene. Our project Natural Media and Engineering is one of seven projects in the HumeTech project house. HumeTech stands for Human Technology and our project focuses on gesture. Now we have four different sub-projects. First of all, mediality in multimodal communication, there we look at uh, mediality effects. We are looking at human-computer interaction, that means in that sub-project we are developing a, a gesture vocabulary for gesture-based interfaces that people can use intuitively to communicate with technology. Then in our second sub-project called Clinical Neuroscience, we are working with our um, colleagues at the clinic carrying out fMRI studies, brain imaging studies, not only with healthy subjects but also with people with some kind of communicative disorders. We are hoping that with these insights we can make recommendations for the development of therapies. In our fourth sub-project called Manufacturing Communication, um, we are looking at gestures in industrial settings. And here's our lab with the motion capture system that we use for our gesture research. Okay, so to get the attention of the experimenter, you have to step on this pedal here. Okay, then you turn to the experimenter and perform your gesture to communicate the message. My project is called Manufacturing Communication and this is an applied gesture research project funded by the Humboldt Foundation. I'm looking at gestures in industrial settings, more specifically. How do workers along a production line in a factory use gesture to communicate with each other? We're looking at helping workers on specific production lines to develop their own set of gestures and we implement these as a gesture code along the production line so we're able to use the motion capture lab to recreate a factory environment and single out parameters and test how they affect um, gestural communication. And here's one of our offices. How would you cut an apple? I think I'd go like that. How would you, if you had a music system far away, how would you turn up the music? Um, maybe I'd do this. So my task in this uh, project is to try and understand how we can use gestures best to interact with technology. We run user studies to understand what kind of gestures people perform. So the idea is to look for these common characteristics across several subjects and we can use these characteristics as a way to develop good gesture vocabulary and gesture designers can use these vocabularies to create meaningful and intuitive gestures. In gesture research, there are four parameters to describe a hand motion. There is orientation, position in gesture space, movement, and also configuration. But when we see a gesture like this one, we're not talking about these parameters naturally. We would rather say, somebody drew a line in space. So my interest is to find out according to which principles or mechanisms these gestures work. And these form principles are my interest. So the main reason why I was attracted to RWTH Aachen to do research here was because of the motion capture system in the Natural Media Lab, but also because of this opportunity to work in such a vibrant community of researchers, being able to work with neurologists and psychologists and computer scientists and to have a deeper understanding of the gesture research from all these different perspectives. Bye-bye.
Bye. Bye. This content was provided by RWTH, Aachen University.